We were the first to bring you full coverage of Firelands Normal Modes, and we're the first to introduce you to Firelands Heroic Modes. Nothing new, just doing what we do. I'm Kinesthesia, and this is Learn to Raid's official Shannox Heroic Strategy Guide. On Heroic Mode, Shenox remains a one-phase fight based on ad control. Like Normal Mode, you'll have to do a bit of ad control followed by a short burn. Shenox has around 114 million HP, Rage Phase has 150 million on Heroic, and Rip Limb has around 17 million. You'll want to bring two tanks, five to seven healers, and a balanced mix of DPS. This guide will assume that you have done the normal mode version of this encounter, and as such will not cover normal mode spells or tactics. For additional information, please see our in-depth normal mode strategy guide. Let's see what's new here. They say you can't teach an old dog new tricks, but a hellhound on the other hand, they're learning new stuff every week. In heroic mode, Shanox's canine companions exchange their frenzied devotion ability for the possibly more threatening feeding frenzy. This new trick will cause each of their successful melee attacks to increase their physical damage done by 5% for 20 seconds. This will stack each time the hounds melee. In addition, Riplim cannot be killed on heroic mode. If slain, he will smolder for around 30 seconds before he rises again and rejoins the fight. Heroic Shanox is about removing the dog's feeding frenzy buff as well as the tank's jagged tear debuff. For the majority of the fight, however, Shanox on Heroic Mode is very much like Normal Mode. The big addition is that your raid will now have to successfully trap Rage Face and Crystal Prison Traps in addition to Rip Limb. Begin the fight as you normally would, with your main tank picking up Shanox while your off tank picks up Rip Limb. Rage Face is still left free to jump around the raid face raging. Your raid will need a lot more space to be mobile during the Heroic version of this encounter. Reset Jagged Tear stacks the same way as your raid would on Normal Mode. Kite rip limb into crystal prison traps while the spear is being thrown and slow him to make his fetch skills look as bad as Shanox's face. The even better news is that this will reset rip limb's feeding frenzy buff as well. That means that all your raid really needs to worry about is how to reset rage face's feeding frenzy. As per normal mode, you'll want to sit two or three of your heavy hitters on rage face in order to instantly break his face rage ability. In between this, however, he will run to different people to randomly melee them. This will, of course, stack his feeding frenzy buff. The player being attacked by him will need to run the dog through a crystal prison trap in order to freeze him for a few seconds. However, the trap duration alone is not enough to reset the feeding frenzy stacks. Once Rage Face is trapped, the entire raid will need to move away from him to avoid being meleeed when he gets out. Have the raid shift the whole fight about 40 yards away from Rage Face's trap location. When he gets out, he will run a short bit, then pounce on a player to face rage. Break this as usual, and at this point, the feeding frenzy buff will have a very minimal duration remaining on it if it is not already dropped. Players may need to kite Rage Face for up to 5 seconds through movement speed buffs or other convenient spells. Another important change is that neither dog will gain the frenzy devotion buff when Shanox's health reaches 30%. This means your raid does not need to waste time killing them during the encounter. Once Shanox reaches 30%, your raid will want to focus all DPS on him and simply burn him down before the dogs get out of hand. Continue sticking them into crystal prison traps for the remainder of the encounter and it will be smooth sailing. The truth about Heroic Shanox is that if you've already cleared the instance on Normal Mode, which you probably have if you're attempting him, is that he's kind of a pushover. We aren't sure if the fight will stay this innately easy, but if it is changed or buff, we'll update our guide to let you know. Overall, your raid will be completing the fight just as it would on Normal Mode with a bit of additional kiting for Rage Face, but without needing to kill either of the dogs. Don't get too settled though. Having seen every heroic encounter in the zone, we can safely tell you that the difficulty ramps up quite fast. If you found this guide helpful or informative, don't forget to bookmark us at learntoray.com, subscribe to us on YouTube, Blip TV, and Justin TV, and follow us on Twitter. As always, thanks for checking us out here at L2R. We hope this guide was helpful, and we'll see you at the next boss. Oh.
listening to music. 